Tonight, a local former military major speaking out about his ongoing fight with the U.S. Air Force. He claims he was wrongfully convicted of a crime he didn't commit. WDHN's Robert Smith has the story. Seven years, Clarence Anderson III, an Ozark native and former Air Force major, has been fighting to clear his name after he says he was wrongfully accused of sexual assault by his ex-wife. Anderson and his wife had been married for five years before being ordered to an Air Force base in New Mexico in 2013, and that's when he said his career started taking a turn for the worse. That time uh, that I discovered her having an affair, um, and so she subsequently ended up getting pregnant from that affair. So I filed for divorce, as most people do. Um, I was awarded custody of our daughter. But shortly after, sexual allegations started rolling in from his ex-wife. And at that time, under the Obama administration, all accusations went to the court martial and all victims would be believed, which caught him by surprise. I went judge alone, thinking a judge is going to see that this is crazy. There's no evidence I did any of these crimes. Uh, to include my previous command also saying they looked into these accusations and they never found anything. And so unfortunately, I was found guilty and sentenced to 42 months in a, in a military prison. After conviction, Anderson's legal team heard rumors that his ex-wife's boyfriend at the time received a payment prior to his testimony. And that's when Congressman Martha Roby submitted a congressional to the Air Force after she received evidence of witness tampering. The Air Force responds back to Congressman Roby a month later and tells her that they're going to give me a post-trial hearing to evaluate this perjury and this payment and that the military judge has full authority to rule on any motion that my, my attorney submit, meaning a motion for a new trial, a motion to dismiss the charges, whatever. But Anderson says the Air Force reneged, making it harder for him to make his case with this proof of evidence. Now, Congressman Barry Moore has stepped in to confront the Air Force and has written a letter to President Biden requesting the Department of Justice to investigate the Air Force. Hopefully President Biden will uh, send this send a referral to the Department of Justice and I can ultimately get justice uh, and not for me, but there, there are literally hundreds of other cases reporting Robert Smith WDHN news for the wiregrass coming up on.